Hello everybody and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 34. Today we take a look at something particularly terrifying, spreadsheet formulas. So today is Halloween and to get into the spirit of the holiday I decided to jump into something that many people do find terrifying. Spreadsheet formulas are actually not that difficult but they can be a little bit daunting if you're not sure how to start. Now today I'm going to be using Google Spreadsheets to demonstrate these formulas, but they all work identically in Microsoft Excel. So your most basic formulas consist of your basic math functions, addition, multiplication, division, and things like that. And so you may have a spreadsheet where you need to make some basic calculations. You can do that pretty easily by just typing in the mathematical expression into the formula. To get started with the formula, you simply select the cell where you would like the formula to work, and you type equals, and that tells Excel that you're going to start a formula and then just type in the mathematical expression. But instead of typing in the values, you type in the cell reference. And the cell reference is done using the column and row, sort of like when you're playing Battleship or something like that. So in this case, if I wanted to multiply the quantity times the cost for dog toys, I would say this is equal to B2, and you notice it highlights it and highlights the cell, times C2, and I hit Enter. When I look at the cell, I see the value of it, but if I select the cell and go up there and look at the formula line, I see B2 times C2. You do not use an X because that can be confused for a variable. You use the uh, asterisk sign. So to do this again, I just go down there and then type it again. Now this gets a little tedious if I do this over and over again. I can actually come in here and type equals and then click on the cell and it will fill it in times and then click on this cell and it'll fill that in. Okay, that's a little bit faster. But what if I want to do this for multiple cells? Well, it turns out Excel and Google Spreadsheets and all that, they're pretty smart and they will automatically change your formula. If you copy and paste into the next cell, notice it changed it to B4 from B3 to B4. So it's smart enough to kind of guess. And when you copy paste down, it changes the rows and columns as necessary. So if I were to copy to the right or to the left, it would change it to E4. And if I copy down, it changes it to B5. Of course, I need to style these so I can select these and go up there and choose a dollar for currency. Now, if I want to get the final cost, I can do the same thing. I can say equals D2 plus D3 plus D4 plus D5. Now, that is not very efficient, especially if I have 500 cells I need to add up. There must be a way to uh, add up multiple things like that and reference a, a range of something. There is. But first, I do want to show that you can do the average item cost here as well. You can say equals the final cost divided by one, two, three, four. Again, this is not very effective because if I get more items in here, I've got to change this formula. This formula is going to be divided by four every time. So there'll be other ways that we can do that in, in the future. So let's take a look at the sum function, which is a way of simplifying that formula uh, so that it adds up a lot of items in a range. So in this case, instead of typing D2 plus D3 plus D4, I type equals sum, and I'll choose that, equals sum. And it's kind of coaching me along. This is called the wizard, the formula wizard. And it does parentheses, sum parentheses, value one, comma, value two, comma, value three. So I could do the sum of this cell, this cell, this cell, this cell. Well, that, yeah, it makes it a little easier. I don't have to type in all the plus signs, but the, notice that the examples here is A2 colon A11, and then comma 101, and so on. So you can actually do a range here. So I could say D2 to D5 by typing in D2 colon D5. And notice it even shows it there. Well, that's also a hint that if you wanted to, you could just select areas here. So I could say this is the sum of and drag, click and drag to get an area, a range there. So that's gonna add up D2 to D5. What's kind of neat about that is that if you go in and insert things in between the end posts, then the formula automatically changes to include everything in between. So if I do come in here later and um, put in some stuff and copy that formula, right, then it adds that as well. Right, so that's what the formulas look like, basically. And so let's go in here and type in one for the average. So in this case, I'm going to do equals A-V-E-R-A-G-E, -E, average, parentheses, and it says value, value, value. So I can do average of these items, D2 to D6 close it. So again, that formula is pretty simple there. Average of D2 to D6. You can go over here and choose insert function and you'll see some of them here, the most commonly used ones. 
and you can go to more and if you go to more you'll see a lot more functions at your disposal I mean a lot and this goes on for many 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 pages and these are just the functions that Google Spreadsheets has Excel has a similar number of functions it's crazy what you can do with this stuff so some an average and simple mathematical computations that is gonna get you really far with spreadsheets all right I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't too terrifying I hope that you found it useful and if you did go ahead and uh, click that like button heck why not support us and click that subscribe button Comment in the comment box below. Give us ideas for other Tech Tuesdays. I am taking all your ideas into consideration, and we just have a lot of items in the queue, so I will eventually get to them. And um, share this video with your friends, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.